y'all welcome to my youtube channel little ways little things and i'm so excited because i have scarlet here with me today and scarlet is my grand puppy we are going to be getting ready for fall by doing some easy dollar tree diy decor items for fall and scarlet's going to have so much fun helping me today aren't you I know how much you guys love transforming those pumpkins from Dollar Tree that are carvable into really fun, beautiful decor for your home for fall. So I'm gonna be showing you some ideas, two ideas for those fall pumpkins. And also we're gonna take this cool Dollar Tree thankful sign that, um, it's like a little box sign that Dollar Tree has out right now on their shelves. If you can grab some of these, we're gonna be using three of these to also make a really cute piece. It's gonna be lots of fun. We are well into fall, so it's time to get decorating. I actually bought four of these really cute thankful signs from Dollar Tree because one of them I'm gonna leave as is, but they have this really cute buffalo plaid edging around all the sides of it, which I really liked. So I wanted to turn these long, lengthy kind of blocks into a palette type sign. So I'm gonna use E6000 to glue each one of them together. You can use a hot glue gun, but I really think that the E6000 will make them stronger and hold them together better. So that's what I decided to use. I also wanted to make sure that they stayed really close together and dried really tightly together. So I used some binder clips and also a rubber band to hold all three of the pieces super close. All right, I'm gonna let that sign sit there and dry for about three hours. And then when it's all together, I'm gonna use some white washi tape, which is a really low tack tape. You can use painter's tape, but I'm gonna go around the buffalo plaid edging because it's so pretty. I don't wanna mess it up at all with any paint when I paint the front of the sign. So I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color white, which you get from Walmart. And I'm just gonna paint the sign. I'm gonna give it about three coats. Okay, it's all painted and dry and I'm super happy with the way it came out. I'm gonna take that white washi tape off the edges. It did peel up a tiny little bit of that buffalo plaid edging, which I just glued back down and it was fine. You can see how it really does have the look of a palette sign. I really like the way it came out. Now you can do anything you want with this sign at this point. You can use paint, you can write with a Sharpie. I'm gonna decoupage with this Mod Podge that you can get from Dollar Tree. I'm actually going to decoupage something that I made on my computer. I made this little sign on my computer and I printed it out and I'm just gonna cut it into strips and decoupage it right onto the sign. If you've ever done decoupaging before, it's super easy. You just put things where you want, you cover the back with some decoupage, you cover um, the base with some, and then you just put it all over that paper. And I already had put a little bit on the sign and now I'm gonna use it again. It's called Mod Podge and you can use the matte or the glossy, you can get it anywhere, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, but this did come from Dollar Tree. So um, it's really easy to work with and I love the effect that it has. Now, if you have a silhouette or a Cricut, you would probably want to use that by cutting the words out of vinyl and then putting them on the palette sign and then using the Mod Podge over that. That would definitely be an option, but I wanted to show you that you can do this project without having any special machines and that it's super easy and affordable. Now, if you can't find these exact block type signs at your Dollar Tree, try looking on dollartree.com or just purchasing any of the block type signs that they have because you can customize it with whatever kind of washi tape, any color or design that you want along the outside. 
The next thing I'm going to do is let the sign dry really well and then take some Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral and create a wash with it by dipping my paintbrush in some of the paint and then in a bowl of water. So I just want to create a really light wash and then paint over the decoupaged piece so that I can achieve like a weathered effect. One of the reasons that I cut the little words into strips in the first place was so that where the cuts were they would kind of also add to the look of the sign being pieced together out of palette wood and I think it's working really well and really you just keep going until you achieve the desired effect that you want so I just am going to continue putting the paint and the water wash all over the sign and wiping it off until I get it just the way I want. After it's done I'm going to go over it with another round of Mod Podge. I'm going to let the sign dry really, really well, and then I'm going to use this jute twine to make a little decoration on the sign. I'm going to wrap it around the sign a couple times. I got this twine from Walmart, but you can also get twine in varying widths from Dollar Tree. I just happen to already have this. So I tied it really well and tightly in the back, and then I'm going to arrange the little strings of twine to make sure that they're all single layers so that the piece will stand up straight and not be wobbly. Then I'm going to add this little decorative kind of tie to the front of it. And the next project that we're going to do calls for using a little bush of lamb's ear. And I had some leaves from that lamb's ear left over, so I'm actually going to try to arrange them inside this piece however I like it to make sure that it'll look really cute. The next decor item that we are going to make uses everyone's favorite carvable foam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. They come in this obnoxious orange color, but they're super fun to recreate into fun pieces for your home. You can start by taking off these little foam little stem pieces and use some pliers or some wire cutters to get that toothpick out. The next thing I'm going to do is use my Waverly chalk paint from Walmart in the color of white and I'm going to paint three pumpkins giving them about three coats a piece. I'm going to finish up those pumpkins by putting more coats on them and letting them dry really, really well. While I'm doing that, I'm going to make a super simple bow out of this really pretty ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I got it on sale. I think it was 40% off. Never pay full price at Hobby Lobby. They put their ribbon on sale all the time. And I'm making a super simple bow out of a long loop. So you make a couple of long loops and then pinch it in the center and tie another piece of ribbon around it. Kind of crimp them up. And then I'm going to add a tail to it by doing the same thing, just tying it with that extra piece of ribbon in the back to make it look like it's attached, but it's really not. And you can look up any tutorial on YouTube to find out how to make a super simple bow. Then I'm going to dovetail those edges of that tail to make it look really, really cute. That's going to be my bow for my little pumpkin piece. The next thing that I'm going to do is take this lamb's ear that I got from Walmart for $2 a bunch. I got three bunches and I have some left over. I thought that was a really, really good price. The next thing that I want to do is use some wire cutters to kind of cut the bunches down to a good size where they will fit in the pumpkin like it's a vase. 
So I think I really had to remove the bottom two leaves of each one and then a little bit of the stem and it wound up fitting perfectly. So I kind of measured it there by punching it through the pumpkin and it looked really good. I think I wound up just trimming a little tiny bit more off of each piece. Like I said, I cut off the bottom two leaves and then a little bit of the stem and it really wound up being the perfect size for this pumpkin. So the next thing that I'm going to work on is using an X-Acto knife to cut a circle out of the center of the pumpkin and that's what's going to make kind of like the little vase or whatever the holder for the plant. So I'm gonna cut it out and it's super simple, just use an X-Acto knife. And then it's just a matter of sticking those stems of lamb's ear in the pumpkin and arranging them the way they look really pretty. It is really that simple and it came out looking really nice. The last thing that I'm gonna do, I actually kind of tied them all together. So I was trying to give them a little shape and kind of just trying to arrange them in there so they were pleasing to the eye. After that, I'm gonna hot glue the bow on. I'm not even gonna wire it in there or anything. I'm just simply hot gluing it to the outside. And I love this piece. The chalk paint, you can paint the pumpkin any color you want. I just really wanted to do it white to match my decor. I think it came out super cute. If you make any of these decor items that I'm making in this video today, please don't forget to put a picture of them on Instagram and tag me at JennyFinch44 because I think it would be super fun to see everyone's projects and just see what everybody has come up with for the fall this year. So I'm just continuing to fluff it up and I just love the way it came out. So the next project that we're gonna make is a sweater pumpkin. We're actually gonna make two and they're all over Pinterest and YouTube and the internet. And I just knew that I could make my own really simply. I saw one at At Home this year and it was $20. I knew we could make it cheaper. So I'm going to use the same pumpkin that I used for the last project that I just painted from Dollar Tree. It's that carvable foam pumpkin and I'm going to cut two circles out of the top and bottom. So there'll be one hole at the top and one hole at the bottom. I also stopped by my Goodwill and picked up a really pretty gray sweater that I thought would make a really nice texture. And that's it, it's just a gray sweater. I believe it was four bucks. And I'm gonna cut the sleeves off of it. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube for making these pumpkins and they call for some sewing and some stuffing. And I just thought that this would be super, super easy. And I think they came out great. So. I'm going to stuff the pumpkin inside of that sleeve and I'm gonna just try stuffing the excess into the two holes. Now, when I was stuffing it into the bottom one, it fit pretty good, but it was a tiny bit bulky. But in any case, I went ahead and put a line of glue from my glue gun around the rim of that hole, and then I stuffed all that fabric back in. I probably could have cut some and made it less bulky, but anyway, that's how I did it. I did notice, however, when I turned the pumpkin over, it didn't sit straight on the on the table anymore. It kind of was lopsided. So I think that's from that extra bulk. So what I did is I took the piece from the top that I had cut out, the little circle piece, and I put some glue around it and popped it into that bottom hole. And that gave it a really even kind of place to set on the table so it wasn't lopsided anymore. It just set perfectly straight. Now you can paint that bottom piece gray so it'll kind of blend in and have a finished look. And I might go back and do that, but honestly I didn't do it this time because it sits flat and you can't really tell. So anyway, I tried to work on the top next and that cuff was just really too bulky. So I cut it off and then I shoved it all in there and then I did the same thing. I put a rim of glue around it um, or around the rim of the hole and I shoved the excess in there. And th at the top, you have to make sure it's really shoved in there well. That's why I was using that little stick kind of to shove it in there because that's where you're gonna put the stem. So it has to be, you know, wide enough to fit a little stem. So here it is one more time. You just put a rim of glue around the rim, a little line of glue, I mean, around the rim and shove that in there. And it's really that simple. It is super simple and they came out super cute. Look at the texture on that. And you can see that it sits perfectly on the table. 
I want to make some leaves and dress it up. So I have a Webster's Dictionary that I got from Half Price Books a long time ago that's super old. And whenever I need something out of it, a page, I just rip one page out. In this case, I'm going to make the leaves out of this old dictionary page. I'm tracing a leaf that I got from Dollar Tree in a package of fall leaves. But you can even use a leaf from outside, a real leaf, or you can just freehand it. In any case, I'm tracing and cutting out four leaves because I'm making two pumpkins and I want each pumpkin to have two leaves. The next thing I'm going to do is hot glue this long piece of twine. That's the same twine that we used around the sign earlier. But I'm going to hot glue a long piece of that twine on the leaf. And then I'm actually going to put some of that Mod Podge on each of the four leaves just to give it a little protection and a little stiffness because that dictionary page is a little bit fragile. I also found a few sticks from my yard and it was a little hard to do that because we're right in the middle of Tropical Storm Imelda, but I managed to find four sticks and my kids thought I was crazy, but I did dry them out in the microwave to make sure I could use them for this project. I just pushed the stem in to the size that I wanted and I think it looked really cute. I think that stem from my yard is one of my favorite pieces of this project and it was totally free. So the next thing I'm going to do is take that little rope or the little twine that has the dictionary leaf on the end and I'm going to wrap it around the stem or the stick that I'm using as a stem of the pumpkin. And that's it. It is so super easy. After that, I'm going to just wrap one on the other side. I did want to mention that I used a little hot glue around that twine to make sure that it stuck to the stem and I love the way those pumpkins came out. I made two of them. I made the little lamb's ear vase type thing and the palette sign all from stuff from Dollar Tree and Walmart. Super affordable, super easy, and super fun to decorate your home for fall. I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. I'm so glad that you've jumped on. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the bell so that you're notified the next time I upload video. Please give this video a huge thumbs up if you like these projects. And again, if you make any of these projects, I'd love to see you tag me on Instagram. I just think that it would be a really fun community if we could all share what we do together. Thank you.